Hey guys, I have a dungeon crawl in mind for my players this weekend, so I wanted to show you how I set up dungeon crawls with these modular tiles. Um, I like having this fog of war mechanic, so players have to tell me which direction they're going, and then I would add tiles um, in the direction that they explore. This adventure um, is going to take place in a cave system that um, is being used by some fiend-worshipping orcs and a Tanarok from the Volo's Guide to Monsters. Um, so let's just get started. This is the beginning room where the players can put their little minis. For my own sake, I label the tiles so that way if a player says, I want to go up this way, I can add the appropriate tile right at the head. This is 1D, that's 2D. The first hazard of this dungeon um, is this tight hallway right here. If someone doesn't do um, a perception check down this hallway specifically, they're going to find themselves in a pit trap. Um, there is a hidden lid around here. Um, I'm thinking maybe a DC 15 perception check and notice the, the cover um, underneath the gravel. If they don't observe that, whoever goes down first, which goes down this hallway first, falls into the pit. In this case, it's the fighter. Uh, they fall right down and they would take 2d10 piercing damage and the lid snaps shut so they disappear into the ground if someone wants to keep going up straight ahead which leads to uh, the meat of the dungeon and if they want to make a left if someone tries to look that way i can add 2c like so okay so I try to show the, the map bits at a time. So let's say someone goes down here, da -da -da -da, cautiously hopefully. Um, they can, you know, they choose again whether to go down this way or down this way. Let's, if they choose to go in this bottom room, let's see what's down here. They will unfortunately uh, stumble into a war hearth room uh, full of orcs. These orcs uh, worship fiends, specifically Baphomet, and so they will uh, respond aggressively to any intruders. These orcs are basically the same as they are in the Monster Manual, only they can also cast Hellish Rebuke and Darkness. So I would imagine the first thing they would do is drop a Darkness in this area where the PCs are entering, um, and then the orcs can come up around this way, actually, and strike. And I would reveal this, uh, this is a sign that there is a door that needs uh, a special key that you would get from these orcs. I'm thinking because the demon thing, maybe it's a certain effigy that they have on them that you gotta, you gotta burn uh, at the door. Once you do, you can pass inside and the players will find treasure room. Treasure. Nothing is as it seems though. There is a, a curse on the treasure chest um it's like a fear curse it's like a it's more like a, a glyph of warding um, that makes the players run away but if they do uh, get through they can find a lot of loot and rings of fire resistance which will be useful in this dungeon i mean this might show players too much information but they can find out that there's another room in here this is a slave pit or slave pen i should say this side is going to be full of goblins i would set them up like that and some humans who can be useful to them. I would roll randomly as they come into the room to see if the goblins or the humans are alive, and then they can do some role play, get some information. The player would go down this hallway, so I would then reveal 3B as well, and they have the decision to go up to the left or explore this pen. I'm not sure if, you, if there's only one effigy and you can either use it here or here, that might be interesting, um, or they might get more chances if they find more orcs up that way. So maybe this is luck for now. So let's continue on. Let's let's imagine that's true. A player who investigates further to the left can real will realize that this is just a loop around. However, there is another pitfall trap uh, right here that I can show. 4B. Long hallway that opens up to 5B, which is a holding cell for two hellhounds who will be asleep. Um, a perceptive player will notice them in the dark up there. Um, if they cause a lot of commotion, there are orcs in this room who can come in, cast darkness, and I also gave the hellhounds 
the Devil's Sight as well, because I thought that would make sense. So there could be um, a pretty big fight right there. And I can show you if I see um, the orcs would come in through this way. I apologize if this is hard to watch. Um, and if they make it through the Hellhounds and the orcs up this way, then they can go to the last room, which has the sacrifice chamber. It has the Tanaruk and some more orcs. Um, so that's basically how I set up dungeons. This is going to be a one shot. Um, let me know what you think, how you might do it differently, and if this is useful.